that term refers to a very small, special group of British car enthusiasts. Hey guys, it's Ian at SS8000 Cars and today we're going in the GT4 on a journey. And the journey is down to Dunsfold Aerodrome and we're going to see Top Gear. So it should be fun. Um, obviously I met Matt LeBlanc the other week and uh, Matt suggested I come down and, and meet the rest of the cast. So uh, I'm thoroughly looking forward to that. I think I'm taking Paul. Um, Paul will be coming and um, he'll add to the, uh, to the excitement I would imagine. Um, no idea what to expect. Um, I think the new show is terrific and um, we'll see where we go from here. Obviously it is a beautiful day as you can probably see absolutely gorgeous anyway we're going to get on our way and um, i'm hoping uh, that the the roads are good down there they should be and uh, definitely gt4 territory okay catch up with you later i'm literally about to leave um just going to uh, listen to the exhaust love listening to the exhaust Hey guys, we're in the uh, Top Gear VIP car park and as you can see the uh, GT4 is all parked up. So now we're going to wander down to the, uh, the area outside the uh, hangar where the, the filming takes place. As you can see the uh, crowds have already started to arrive and they're, um, they're all in the buses and queuing up and my goodness it goes round the corner. Wow. And there are buses lined up going backwards um, with people, f with, with full of people. Incredible. All adds to the experience, I suppose. So we're coming down towards the hangar now. It's where they keep all their cars. A Lamborghini Diablo. <laughs> Looks like one of the new Honda NSXs. Coming out now, you can see La Ferrari. Presumably, they're bringing it into the studio. Absolutely amazing car. So the car here is a Wraith convertible. Sorry, gone. Hello, Matt. Oh, hey, oh, we yeah. met the other way. Good to see you. So what we have here is the the silver Wraith convertible. I'm with Paul, and we both quite like it. I think it's fair, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. It's very smart. And then next to that, the the NSX taken the the spot that the uh, taken the spot that the La Ferrari was in, and next to that, the i8. Now these two cars have a couple of things in in common they're both part electric which is interesting but what i actually really wanted to do was to show you the 911 r 
It's the first one I've actually seen in the in the in the flesh, and it's it's absolutely stunning. So basically, what we've got here is we've got a GT3 suspension, wheels, and brakes, but a GT3 RS engine, and it is just absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. Very, very difficult to get hold of. There weren't many of them. Uh, there weren't many of them built, and as a consequence of that, they um, they're going to leap in price. I would say. I think the list price was something like 130, 140, maybe as high as 150. But I think you'll find that they'll be over 200 at the at the point. In this particular instance, you're not probably not going to be here again. That's true. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think my my view is. It's not just about the cars, although, you know, I die for one of these. But nevertheless, it's not just about the cars. It's it's about it's about the experience, isn't it? That's Chris Harris's uh, Turbo S, guys. We were just chatting to him, and he was telling us it's a an immense car. I think obviously all the Top Gear guys get given Turbo S's because Matt LeBlanc loves his Turbo S as well. I just wanted to nip down here and have a quick look at the uh, GT3 RS, which. Um, I would personally choose the 911R, but you can't say it will go unnoticed, can you? I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. I think um, the wing on my GT4 looks big. The wing on this is just unbelievable. It looks very purposeful in the uh, the orange with the uh, the black wheels. I just think. Just such a fantastic looking machine. Has a familiar 911 look about it. I mean, almost on steroids, isn't it? Because the arches have been flared just as, about as far as they could possibly flare. You can see the wheels have been, the actual track has been widened both at the front and the rear. So the, uh, the uh, tyres and wheels are right out, practically underneath the, uh, the arches themselves. And again, very little room between the top of the arch and the tyre itself. This one's obviously got the, the whole roll cage. Um, and it's, um, as you can see, all geared up to take lots of, lots of pictures. I think possibly if you were going to buy one of these, you, you'd be better if you were on the road. I imagine to get a silver one with a black interior and, and make it look as understated as possible. But another view might be that, um, well, hey, it's an extrovert car, choose a color that suits it. And the orange does suit it. And then perhaps it's Nemesis, the, uh, the 911R. looks very understated which is of course exactly what it's meant to be and I absolutely adore this car I think it's absolutely beautiful it's worth um, it's worth just getting it won't use any bones in here or... well we're wrapping up here guys just finish off by showing you the 911 GT3 RS Slight preference for the uh, the 911R, but it's still a beautiful machine. It's been a great day. This one's got the complete roll cage, as you can see. Absolutely love the front wings with the air vents in them. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? sports wing mirrors and then look at that wing that is just huge Uh, Rolls-Royce Corniche 
unusual exhaust system on it. I wonder who owns this. Sort of the sort of thing you might find Chris Evans owned, but isn't that lovely? Absolutely lovely. And then, of course, to finish off, La Ferrari. What a machine. What a pair of cars these would make. You've got the uh, La Ferrari, one of the fastest cars in the world, and then the Rolls-Royce Wraith convertible, one of the most beautifully beautiful and comfortable cars in the world. I'm just going to quickly show you inside um, both. See if you can see in there. Hopefully, it is really beautiful. Fantastic view of the engine. So hi guys, we're um, we're going to take the GT4, literally just down to meet up with Matt LeBlanc. Um, should be quite exciting. He's he's next door, and he's filming and. Um, with a bit of luck, um, he'll be interested to have a look. How do you like it? That's what I haven't done it, but here it's fantastic. It's astonishing. I mean, I have, I have a, um, a 458 Speciale, which really is a track car, so it's got the full racing harnesses right, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the stuff sitting in the garage. I've taken it on the track. I have taken that on the track. I just drove two weeks ago. I drove the new 488 on the track at Top Gear. Right. 180 miles an hour. Put the top down. <laughs> the camera's rolling in the car and delivering dialogue to 